what attracted you in particular to the NFT lab? The fact that one can make an artwork, physical artwork, and, and transform it into movement, become alive. That one day we'll walk in maybe in a gallery and the work is moving. There's a physical self as well as a digital um, life to it. It's a very interesting place to be as an artist. Hello, I'm Shadow Twala. Welcome to the Invictus podcast. Uh, my guest today is Kilmani Joe, and uh, she joins me now. Thank you for joining us, Kilmani. Thank you so much for the invitation. Listen, I'm very curious about how you found your way into con- urban contemporary art. From from being a young student, I uh, I knew that I was going to be an artist, and I studied to I got a degree in fine arts, and I grew up in a town called Bloemfontein, um, in the middle of South Africa, and um, Cape Town kind of for me was the art world, and I moved there after my studies, and kind of slowly crept into the art world, and here I am. Welcome to that world, because we need people like yourself. <laughs> how, how has your body of work unfolded over the years? Because I'm trying to understand uh, your inspiration. Okay, so I am. Um, my formal studies was fine art. So I, I paint, and I have been painting through my studies throughout. Um, my interests have always ranged between the the painterly element as well as um, how um, different techniques in how I would paint on a canvas. And I was a teacher for many years um, to pay the bills. And I became um, interested in how children um, visually showed their emotions on on desks and the the elements of graffiti and the the naughty as opposed to the good self. And um, I then started getting, uh, started working with tagging and mark making on my canvases and got invited to do murals around the world and mm. suddenly realized that the mural space is for me far more fun than just working on canvas and I love to work large and um, so the portraiture and the street art kind of culminated onto canvas work and that's where I am in the art world. Why do you think street art is not as respected or as welcomed? A lot of people just think it's dirt and they want to paint over it, you know. What, what's the un- understood language of street art? I think the understood language is the fact that um, it's, it's a verbal, it's a, it's a visualization for the everyday person. And not everybody goes to galleries. In fact, sometimes it's quite a... Um, one doesn't feel always comfortable in a, a gallery. Um, so street art is is for the person who wants the everyday person to see what they do. Mm-hmm. And I think the negativity towards it is that it's on public spaces and obviously um, not always wanted um, in, in the business sector. Um, but I think it's got a, an amazing strength of message if the artist... Um, handles it correctly and um, that's why so many street artists have have just gained strength over the years as um, because they've got far more of a message than just the average tagger or street writer so I think there's this this there's this balance between the hated and the 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 the, the respect from um, the community as to what it actually beautifies um, old streets and, and buildings and takes it to another visual level. And uh, that's always interested me. And, and as you say, it's a language, it's an expression that everybody else can use that space to tell their story, which must have been then a yes. challenge during the pandemic, COVID-19, because people couldn't go out, people couldn't engage with, with that art. How else... Do you think art was was impacted by the pandemic? I think um, the physical uh, self being uh, not able to go to an actual gallery, I think, impacted the digital world in a, a positive note um, that the viewer or the buyer doesn't necessarily have to be in the gallery 
to be able to purchase or see an online um, exhibition. And um, I think that's the digital um, has, has created a whole new marketplace for the artist. And I think that's where the NFT has kind of just dropped itself in a very comfortable place because um, it's a marketplace for artists now. And um, yeah, very exciting times. What attracted you in particular to the NFT lab? I think um, the fact that one can make an artwork, um, physical artwork, and, and transform it into movement or, or, or just make it kind of um, become alive, that one day we'll walk in maybe in a gallery and the work is moving and it's, it, it, there's a physical self as well as a digital um, life to it. And I think that's, that's what's interesting. Uh, uh, in, it's, um, it's a very interesting place to be as an artist that you actually can own a physical piece as well as a digital piece and that um, there's, a, there's, there's ownership to that also. What do you think you in particular are bringing to that NFT space? Is it, is it the uniqueness of what you do? Is it the medium that you use? What is it that you believe you're bringing? I think uh, for me, uh, as, as I said before, I think what I'd like to bring into the NFT world is obviously an, an ownership that, that's digital and that there is another form of currency. Uh, it it inter interests me that maybe when I'm not here, the, my artwork still ex exists and that maybe... Um, Artworks will not be able, it's a preservation in the digital world. And I think that, that's what's drawing me. But also the fact that my artwork is moving. I think that's, that's exciting. That it's, it's not just a, a painting. It, 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 there's parts that are now moving in the painting. And I think that's what I'd like to bring. Um, I think that's what all artists are quite excited about, this NFT element, that this is, there's a movement to the artwork. Yeah. Well, this is... This must be exciting for you uh, to be part of the Out of Africa collection. What, what, what are you uh, contributing to it? Did you prepare the piece specifically for the Out of Africa collection or did you use an existing artwork which is now, you know, being animated? Yes. So it was uh, Invictus purchased an artwork of mine. So there's a physical element of the artwork and... Um, I'm working with a, a team to create the, the digital element, which would mean there's some form of movement in the work. So there's, you've got the physical artwork and then you've got the, the artwork that's got some life to it, per se. Would you, would you advise anyone, or do you think more and more people, now that we have this platform, are going to, are going to invest in, in more art? Um, and... How do you deal with people like myself who are older, who not uh, who are not au fait with that space yet? You know, too scared to venture. Um, are you are you accommodating us as well, or are you looking for the young people that are now excited to be part of of the NFT world? Well, uh, to be honest, it's a personal accommodation for myself personally because it's a whole new avenue and um, there's an element of excitement. So I think. For the, the older generation, I would imagine this is quite a daunting space. But I think for for the big investors, um, um, I think there, there's a there's a whole new um, ownership element to this, and I think that's where the NFT world's going. There's a um, there's a different form of currency. There's a different form of um, secondary market. There's there's authenticity in it. Um, you, you know exactly who's, who's purchasing in the secondary, third market. And I think that's, uh, it, it also prevents a lot of, you know, you, you as the artist know where your value is in, in, in this NFT aspect. It's a learning curve. And I think it's also how Bitcoin and all of these came. We were all like, wow, this is just, does not make sense for me. And I think there's that traction of, of, of the, the, the beginning people. And I'm hoping I'm kind of the, just opening, <clears throat> walking the walk, <clears throat> excuse me, and seeing where it takes me. And, and that's exciting. These are exciting times indeed. So when are you, when are you purchasing your new, 
your your NFT wallet. Is it called the NFT wallet? I'm still learning about these things. Yes, well, that's where I'm at. Also, I still not ha- I don't have any of that. So I'm just waiting for some sale of an NFT and then we'll take it from there. But um, at the moment, just the, the process of creating this is where I'm at now. So we'll see what what the future holds. Well, I wish you all the luck and I, I, I hope it becomes a very fruitful platform for you. And as you say, you know, it helps you value your work uh, in, a, in a better place. So thank you so much for joining us. All the best with it. Thank you so much. Lovely meeting you. Thanks for joining us. Right, thank you.